mathematics guys in the past three years our graduation rates increased by 30 percent that's math for you over 80 percent of our students will graduate this year yeah round of applause for that let's keep in mind math is all around us and people talk about math as something that's a tedious thing but you like money you guys love money and that's money is math and understanding percentages and how to get through life how to, whatever you do equates to mathematics. And I want to thank Mr. Kipper for doing such a wonderful job here. Good afternoon. Our team of geometry is conformed by the students belonging to Mr. Rivera and myself. They were trying to take the measure of everything you see in the sky, using all these scientific tools made by themselves, not any complicated tool. At this point, they try to find the distance between uh, myself and that friends, only walking and calculating the number of steps they are doing and knowing the distance made by each step, then they can calculate the total distance from here to the base. And then, using something as simple as the cell phone, they can find the inclination angle from here to any object in the sky and apply the Pythagorean theory in order to get any type of answer and then they are playing with the Pythagorean theory. Finding whatever you ask them to do. So I feel very proud of them. Thank you. Buenas tardes, eh, aquí en los espectáculos también vamos a enseñar la administración y cómo aumentar nuestra ganancia tanto en nuestro día de año. En este caso estamos hablando de un trabajo de construcción y espero que le vaya a gustar bastante. A behalf of the Precalculus staff, uh, we this year, we are a project who belong to the designer, teacher Mr. Becker Meyer, who designed how to construct a patio using papers, sand, and measurements. And that person goes out and makes money, but the profit, he had to put it in the bank. And he had to learn how to invest money. And this table, we can figure out how much you can put out in the saving account in 20 years. We have the solution for you. If you're welcome, in this table, we have the calculation for you. 10 years, 10 years, six months, whatever you want to put your money in. But it's very interesting because you have to do like seven different skills in algebra and pre-calculus. You have to figure out the dimensions. You have to convert feet into inches, into square inches. Okay, and from there you go and find out how many hours it will take to do the job. And after that, you have to figure out how much it's gonna cost to do the work, the job. And then you take the difference. 
to find out the profits, how much money we made. But as we were doing the job, somebody else was looking and they wanted to give us another job for $2,000. Now we put the money together, now we got more money. Et cetera, et cetera. The student did excellent. This, I mean, Beckermeyer, I admire him because he put a lot of energy into this project. And really, at 149 students, 105 did my projects. And they all did good. Okay, I was proud of them. Okay? The 43 never showed up to school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was nice one, right? Okay, thank you. So my name is Victor, and I am part of the um, sophomore math college. And we worked on a project during our ninth period. So we did a project on trigonometry and indirect measurement. And it is all about measuring a building indirectly rather than directly. And so, what we do, we take a yardstick and we, and prospectively, we would try to have the yardstick go from the bottom to the top. And so, once we have that perspective, perspective we would use our information we have to calculate the height of the building. Rather, so this is indirect measurement because it's all based on perspective. Not just that, but there's a lot of math and other things we had to take into consideration and use it to have our calculations and, and conclude our results and to find the measurement of the building. Nice! Now to the very awesome Adjibaran team. I am standing on behalf of all the Adjibaran so, teachers so in the presence of Ms. Koma, Ms. Diasa, who is not here, uh, Ms. Pena, and myself. What we did this year was, um, this year we've learned a lot of topics ranging from um, regular equation, uh, inequality system of equation, and quadratic equation. So we decided to apply it to real life. Because many a time students will say, math is boring because it's been so procedure. So we decided that we want to make it very fun so that they will know that math is part of our everyday life. So as you can see here, with the Algebra 1, we have a lot of talent. We did our projects in the, so many areas, ranging from quadratic equation, system of equation. What the students did was they actually identified um, a roller coaster, a bridge, a popular bridge, and what they did was they came up with the parabola that represents the bridge, and out of that parabola, they created a function to represent that parabola. Not only did they create the function, hey, what is the highest point on the bridge? I want to climb the bridge. How do I know the highest point on the bridge? That can be, math can be used to do that. That is finding the vertex. So they did that, they represented using different representations. They also learned that math is not represented in one way. It can be represented graphically, algebraically, word, whatever it is. Our students set out to do all those representations and they came up with which ones were the best, I mean, pertaining to whatever project that they were doing. Indeed, I implore all of you to visit the Algebra 1 team and you will never miss it. We have great things to offer. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello, hello. Tell us your name. Um, Bianca Aguilo. What grade are you in? Um, I'm 11th grade. You're 11th. Okay, all right. Um, so how? What do you? What did you learn in the math fair? Doing the doing the math fair project. Um, I learned that I can edit. I can really do a presentation really well. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, how do you feel about being in the math fair? Um, I'm in, I'm in a bit of a rush, but it's, it's looking pretty good. It's good. Yeah. You feel you, like you're being rushed or you feel like you're in a rush? I'm in a rush because I have to go do something, but right now it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Okay, all right. So if you were to tell your, teach, your math teacher something, what would you tell her? Um, great work this year. I really learned something from you this year, I guess. Tu nombre, por favor? Ashley Blair. Okay. Um, bueno, tengo una pregunta para hacerte. Um, 
¿Qué tú aprendiste por hacer este MAFE? Ah, lo que yo aprendí es que la matemática no puede ayudar para todo. Sinceramente, sí, cuando yo estaba antes en otras escuelas, yo pensaba que la matemática no nos servía para nada, pero me di cuenta que no ayuda en todo, sinceramente. Wow, uh, y bueno, está, ¿es esto yo? ¿Es esto yo? ¿Es tan, tan bonito? Uh, bueno, ¿quién es tu profesora? Uh, Miss Peña. Bella, oh, I never, yo nunca he de ella, pero qué bueno. Bueno, ¿te gustó cuando tú asiste a este proyecto? Sí, mucho me gustó. Uh, ¿Esta vez estresada? No. no. Ok, qué bueno, porque algunos se ponen estresados, pero uh, bueno, si tú tuviera a decir algo a tu maestra, tu maestra de matemática, que tú le ayudas. Que me ayudó mucho a entender los temas de matemática porque yo era muy dura para eso y ella me explicaba poco a poco y así fui entendiendo. Bueno, gracias y, y, y me puedes explicar un poquito, un poquito de esto. Eh, he visto que la, he visto que la álgebra no ayuda para muchas cosas. En sí, cuando uno tiene tiendas, básicamente los polinomios, lo que yo estoy dando no ayuda para empresas y también para cuestiones de, um, ¿cómo le puedo explicar? Cuestiones de emprendimiento y asociaciones con jefes. Cuando, la, cuando los polinomios le dicen, co, ¿qué tú entiendes por polinomio? Sí. Los polinomios, lo que yo entiendo sinceramente, es para las empresas que puedan constituir como más, más dinero, sí. porque realmente en el país como que no le importa mucho lo que es la matemática, solamente prohíben como, ay sí, porque esto y esto. No se fijan muy bien para qué nos ha ido los polinomios y eso es lo que hace que también... No, um, compartimos bien. Tengo otra pregunta. Uh, ¿Tú hiciste todo esto en computadora? Uh, sí, y también lo quería escribir, pero no me daba mucho tiempo. Ah, bueno, bueno, estás bien. Gracias. Me gusta tu proyecto y gracias por darnos un poquito de tu proyecto. Gracias. ¿Qué es tu Chris. Chris, Chris, what? Piña, but people call me chino. Oh, chino, that's nice. Uh, I got a few questions. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what would you say to your teacher? Do you, uh, do you feel like you would say anything to your teacher about math? Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you for all the lessons you taught me. I wouldn't have done it without y'all. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah, sure. It might not be good, but I'll try. I'll try. Hey. That's pretty good. Thank you. Right. Hola, hola, ¿cómo es tu nombre? Joan. Joan qué? Joan Ruiz de la Cruz. Joan, what's up? Ok. Ay, tengo una pregunta. Um, ¿Cómo tú te sientes en estar aquí en el Math Fair? Me siento bien porque ya puedo salir afuera y jugar un ching aquí en la escuela. Ok. Eh, ¿Tú has aprendido algo en matemáticas? Sí, yo he aprendido mucho. ¿Qué, ¿Qué aprendiste? Yo aprendí muchas cosas, pero no sé el nombre mucho. Ok, si tuviera que decir algo a tu, ma a tu maestra de matemática, ¿qué te lo voy a decir? Que gracias por todo, por ayudarme a entender un chiste de matemática. Ah, oh, ok, gracias, qué bueno. Ok, ¿qué es tu nombre? Sierra. Sierra, ¿qué? Alicia. Alicia es su nombre. ¿Qué aprendiste en el Math Fair? ¿Qué aprendiste en el Math Fair? ¿Qué aprendiste en el Math Fair? Sí, aprendí cómo hacer un avión porque no sabía cómo hacer uno. That's nice. Uh, how do you feel doing? It was actually really easy. So easy math. You felt like it was like pretty. Yeah, okay. Like it. okay. If you were to tell your teacher, your math teacher, something, what would you say? <laughs> oh, they they the best. I like them. Yeah, that's it. No, thank you. No appreciation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you to them. They made me pass. Cause without them, I would probably would never pass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank First of all, what's your name? Oh, my name is Melina Trinidad. How's your day? Oh, I'm good. Okay, good. Um, so what did you learn while doing the Math Fair project? Uh, I learned a lot. I learned about like inequalities and I learned how to use them in my own project with like making images with it. Oh, that sounds fun. I feel like doing that too. Um, how do you feel when you did this? How did you feel actually? I felt nervous. <laughs> I Nervous? Why? Because like 
it, it's, I have to put everything on like the line for my grade and for everything else, and especially being interviewed. Like, it's hard. Did, did you feel like you were like on top of you were like feeling a little stressed? Yeah, very. Oh, I feel, I feel you. Yeah. Um, so if you were to say anything to your teacher, that whoever did this, your math teacher was it? Yeah. Uh, what would you say to her? I would say she did a good job, and I love her. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? At this moment, we just want to congratulate our Math Olympic uh, participants. Yay. Please, for next year, we're going to work hard, either after school, in the mornings, more students to participate, so that we can get more involved in this uh, beautiful event that our district has.